been an interesting year for the labor community. Collective bargaining was stripped away from some city workers in Fort Wayne, and many people are underemployed or unemployed. But as News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday reports, today was about relaxing while also providing help to those who need it. He joins us in Studio 15 with tonight's top story. There were thousands of folks at Headwaters Park this afternoon. Some were there to relax, others were there to network. But today was all about celebrating the working men and women of this very community. It's the celebration of the fruits of their labor. The largest Labor Day event in the Midwest was right downtown at Headwaters Park. And I think it's a day to, to kind of give back to the folks who uh, work for a living. They've really worked hard to make Fort Wayne the city that it is. It was also a day to acknowledge those who are unemployed. For some, jobs are just hard to come by these days. Coming to the Labor Day picnic wasn't only time to relax, but for those without a job to network and find opportunities. We want to make sure that some of those who are looking for work are going to be successful here in the next year or so. Tom Lewandowski is the organizer of today's event. He says organized labor took a huge hit this year with collective bargaining being stripped away from some city workers. But he says that's not stopping them from moving forward and celebrating what they do for the working class. This is a, a testimony to the real power that's out there, the real importance of working folks having a voice. There was free food and music at today's event, the bait to bring the working class together to lift each other up and bring opportunities for those who need them. And about 7,000 people showed up to today's event. This marks the 125th year since the first Northeast Indiana Labor Day celebration. In Studio 15 this evening, Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.